Hello. Okay. Imagine yourself riding a bike, traveling on the hilly roadsides of San Francisco. You're sweating, it's hot, but in reality, you're on a stationary bike in a classroom with your spin instructor encouraging you to go hard on the cycle spinning. Today, I'd like to inform you how spinning became popular, what equipment you need to go to spin class, and the benefits of participating in a spin class. In the 1980s, spin class was normally for like a man such as Johnny G. He was very popular in building bike riders up to build endurance. It was used for people that were doing marathons, stuff like that, or the weather was too hot or the weather was too cold, they wanted to go in a room. But then Johnny G applied an athletic training program specifically for, for everyone, not just for triathlons and um, different programs like that. He also made group sessions. Usually it was a one-on-one -on -one thing. This is group session from young kids to 100-year-old people. So it was a great workout. Another thing that was great about spinning class and what boosted up the popularity of spin class was that the people had control of the workout. You have control of how hard you want your workout to be. If you just want a light spin, then it can be light. If you really want to work hard and sweat, then you twist the knob on your bike, which makes it harder for you to pedal. Spin class is an awesome workout. You need to have specific things. Not, not. It doesn't require you expensive biker shorts or anything like that. All you need is a pair of shorts, workout shirt, a towel for the sweat that you're gonna burn calories a water bottle. That's all you need. And a pair of running shoes. You also need to go to your local gym and find out if they have a spin instructor there that will be able to train you. Make sure that they have stationary bikes. Make sure that they are um, well-rounded for you to inform you of how to use your spin bike. Okay? Finally, I would like to share you great benefits of spinning for cycling. The benefits are it strengthens you by forming your thighs, it works on your glutes, which is your buttocks area, your lower back, your torso, your your abs is just intense pain, intense pain in your thighs. It also works out your heart, which is very, very important for all of us. And nobody ever thinks about this, but it actually works out your mind. How much can you handle the endurance that you're going to take? You're talking to yourself, I can't do this, or I can. You have an instructor there also to encourage you to go harder, to help you maintain a breathing method. Indoor cycling or spinning is a great way to burn great amounts of calories. Approximate amount of calories is about six to 800 calories an hour, which is an enormous amount in one stationary bike. You will not get that result in running or working out um, lifting weights. Other exercises, just yoga, if you won't burn that many calories. Not to mention it's a great workout for all ages. You can bring your kids, you can bring your grandparents, and uncles, it's great. Several people, including myself, love the fact that I have full control of my workout. If I feel tired that day and I want to go to spin, a light workout, as long as my body's moving and I'm getting something done, working to better my health. Spinning class is another way to be fit. It's a great way to be fit. Thank you.